Hey everyone, it's Andrew. So um, we're doing something different today. We're um, doing Corset 2020. Um, I know we haven't really been doing a lot of uh, other sets apart from Modern Horizons. So now we're going to move on to a different set and um, let's see what we can get. Uh, remember I did tell you before that I'm more of a sealed guy or a limited player guy, but now I'm trying to build an elemental deck that to use for standard. Um, I've always wanted to go around and win those universal promo packs, but I, I mentioned before that the problem here in in Manila is that ooh, right off the bat we have a mythic. It's um, well, we don't really get a lot of um, limited tournaments, so and there's a lot of um, a lot of tournaments going on in standard. So I thought, you know, might as well make make a uh, standard deck see if I can get get some prizes whoa wow second mythic they weren't kidding when um, when they said these packs were full of surprises and I know I did one of these uh, uh, horse set 2020 back then and it wasn't really um, you know, another good rare uh, we um, we still didn't do voiceovers back then, and you know we got all ley lines. And, I, and when we did that, also the set wasn't released yet. I got um, I got a box, uh, a pre-release uh, box temple, silence, the first temple, and our first foil. Again, the um, odds here is one is to forty-five the foils, so um, you would expect to get more of them. So I don't know how that that hits the value, but we're going to we're expecting a lot of them here. So um, unlike Modern Horizons, I'm not that familiar with the fri prices of uh, the cards here, so you won't see me doing the separate piles for for the crap uh, rares. Um. I haven't gotten a, a notable rare yet, so hopefully we get we get them here. Um, regulator, one of the I know this is a crapper, so let's put put that there. I know that's uh, one of the bad ones. So yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I take it back. I'm kind of not getting any foils. I know this one is to 45, but maybe they're all clumped up in the um, the other packs. And we haven't really gotten a, again. We haven't really gotten an amazing rare yet. Well, the night pack ambusher. That's a that's a very strong rare. That's a very strong limited too. I uh, had uh, I played in one tournament where. I had that and you know even if you don't have anything to especially when you don't have anything to cast you just oh nice it's, it's the most expensive uh, uh, card there is in the set uh, the Awakened Inferno nice so first stack we've um, already got three mythics I was saying uh, the Nightback Amber Shirt was a really strong card you know, uh, it just uh, creates three threes every every turn, and it was really really strong. Okay, uh, red lane line is not the best one, but it's a lane line. We'll take that. And there's a risen reef there. Play them sanctity. That's a uh, uh, one of the better ley lines. Of course, we're looking for the void. And Life Channel, not really a not really a hot card, but you know, still better than regular, I guess. And well, there you go. We had the two most expensive cards in the set right here. <laughs> It's, a, it's an amazing card. 
Although, as I mentioned earlier, I'm building an elemental deck, so I probably would sell that, but I'd probably keep this one. I'm, I'm trying to mirror my deck in, uh, in MTG Arena. So, let's see how we do. Cleric and Awakener, and Foil Spider. It's amazing. We got a, <laughs> we got a Leyland of Void. We got it there here too. Uh, the temple, uh, fan lurker. I like these uh, scry lands too. I'm um, in, in in my arena deck. I uh, I have them. Uh, very good way to to clean. Oh, I I, I use this for uh, the omniscience draft. Oh, nice. Foil rare. <laughs> Four rare is Chandra. It's a very nice rare. I think that's the second one I have. In any case, it's still a good foil rare. It's a good foil hit. Broker Blood, you know, when you you're able to cast this for zero and you really need to draw a lot of cards, this one's your guy. The thing with Arena though is that it's not a very good practice for draft. Again, you don't the, the the cards you pass are not the cards you would be facing, so I'm not really a fan of um, using that as as, uh, as practice grounds. But you know, it's still a good approximation of 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 a draft. We all know that uh, Throne of Dream is coming out soon too, so um, not a lot of uh, sealed twenty uh, core twenty twenty. Uh, the next, uh, I don't know, the next few weeks, I guess. There's one coming this weekend I'll be playing in. I think that will be the last one before the Throne of the Green. Everyone's gearing up for that. And repeat the vibration. I know there's also a. So let's put that there. Again, I'm not really so sure about the other side place in this pile, but um, I'm really happy we got a. Nice foil rare. We've um, we have the Awakened Inferno and we have the Lady in the Void. So here's to hoping for some more. Oh, nice, another temple. Here's to hoping for more exciting cards. Back to the pack. So approaching the two thirds mark. You also notice that the card stock. I don't know if you could see it, but if we put these two behind each other, it's already. It's a little bit of curve in it. I'm not convinced that they've fixed the card stock issue. It's just a shame because it is a very good, good set. I hope it's not like this in the Throne of Dream, especially the collector booster boxes, which would have a lot of foils. And Bishop of Wings. This is the second Bishop of Wings we got. I can't remember. Uh, last third. We stalled out in the mythics though. I haven't gotten any any mythics since the first pile. And ley line of abundance. Is that the did we get all ley lines again? I have to check after after recording this. Probably got all of them again. Uh Shifting Star Tops and Soul Savage. Probably use that as a sideboard for my um, elemental deck. Okay. Mystic Forge. Used to be a $1 card, now it's $5. Getting any other any other foils? I've seen a lot of box openings where they had two uh, foil rares or one foil, one rare and one mythic. Oh, this is one of those boxes. Okay, nice. We have our um, we have Soren. I think he's the third most expensive card.
and of course we have a massive number of foils compared to our Modern Horizons openings. Icon of Ancestry, yes, I'll be using this also in my deck. So wish me luck when I build that deck and you know try to make it competitive. You know, at least just for you know eight man tournaments or you know F and M's. See if that will get me far. Mystic. Yeah. On the last few packs, we finished strong. Not convinced that you know we got our money back in this box, but we've um, we have strong rares. So I hope we um, get some back of some of the value here. After this, I'll I'll um, put everything in sleeves, everything I need. Chandra, a non-foil this time, especially the foils that I would be playing because those things curl really fast and since here in the Philippines it's quite, um, wow this, this pack's kind of hard to open, it's kind of humid here, these things get, these cards would get damaged really fast if not properly taken care of, so, hand executioner and uh, cryptic caves, foil, Last two packs. It's a four, four mythic box, but they're quite good, good uh, mythic. So I'm not complaining. Also got Leanne the Void. That's a huge thing. Steel Overseer down to the last pack. Only got the Veil of Summer. I have to check all of those in comments again after this. I don't think we got a foil here. Uh, Obvious Reclaimer. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you again in the next video.